Well, there won't be any go-kart racing today like I thought we were going to do. But we've got some other things planned. I don't think you're going to want to go outside, kitty. Not when it's pouring like that. Oh, you want some food, huh? Good. And yet I am thankful for a rainy day every once in a while. A day like this, pouring down rain, we'll get little or no customers here at the greenhouses. And it gives me a great opportunity to make some more videos for you guys. So basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is a request from one of my subscribers is take one of these iPods apart and let you see what's inside of them. I've got a first generation, no, 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 second and third generation iPod is I believe what it is. And they're pretty simple actually. And you would be surprised at how simple they are on the inside. So, might as well take advantage of this rainy day and take a video of this stuff. Y'all might like it. It's kind of a shame what happened to this pot, iPod here. It's in perfect condition except it was dropped and now the hard drive is no longer good on it. Oh well. This one here is in a little bit worse condition. It went through the wash machine. I've already got it partially taken apart here. Basically this top piece just pops off. You need a really thin screwdriver or even a knife to wedge it between this white piece or if you got a black one it'd be a black piece and the back side of your iPod here. Once that comes off You've got tiny little screws that go in those holes. There's one I haven't taken out yet. This enables you to remove the front cover and the screen cover, these buttons. And you can replace the screen cover if it's really scratched up. On the back side here, we have the hard drive. This is an 80 gigabyte iPod, so we got a really good size hard drive here consider in size. Look at that thing. And I believe it's manufactured by Toshiba. Yep. This is the one that was submerged in water so I doubt there's much we can do about that. Lots of padding. They're designed to be dropped every once in a while but I can't believe that one failed. The battery. Somebody ever tells you you can't replace your iPod battery by yourself and you have to have an Apple dealer do it? That's not true. You can do it yourself. Here's the headphone jack. And these wires all run to the little motherboard on this system. They really don't waste any space, that's for sure. slips on the top there. Once everything is fit and secure, and when you connect all your cables, there's your iPod. So, that's the second generation, I believe. Now, let's take a look at this third generation iPod here. You probably can't hear it, but if I put this iPod up to my ear, you can hear a clicking sound coming from the hard drive not a good sign plus it continues to turn on and off like it just did right there so let's go ahead and take this thing apart wow look at it pouring down I'm glad I cleaned the gutters out the other day <laughs> I don't have the very best of work table for working on small stuff like this but if you're careful it'll work okay. Just gotta make sure I don't drop any screws or small pieces through these panels. Although I do really like Apple products, I think they could make them a little bit easier for people who like to do stuff themselves to work on. I've got, I'm using a little miniature screwdriver here to get this thing apart. It's coming up slowly but surely. It takes a long time, especially these newer ones. There we go. A 
and got these little bitty cables here to disconnect. Just got to remember which one goes where. There's your 80 gigabyte hard drive. Look how thin that thing is. Isn't that amazing? Still manufactured by Toshiba. Here's your cover. That thin, thin. Even the battery's a little bit thinner on this one, I think. It's got a little glue on it. There we go. Whoops. There goes one of my pieces falling through already. There's your battery. Here's the back cover of it. There you go. Just like this white one over here that we took apart earlier. Only much thicker. So got the pieces in it. Hard drive. A little bit bigger battery. See there. I think I'm gonna get another hard drive for this third generation 80 gigabyte iPod because that's the only thing I can find wrong with it. If I can find a hard drive for even a hundred bucks, hey, I've got a perfectly good working iPod. Got to make sure we keep track of all the little bitty pieces here. Now, if you wanted to take this thing further apart and replace a screen cover, you would remove these little bitty screws with a tiny screwdriver like you see here. Oh, even then, that's not small enough. I'd have to get my extra small set out. But I think you get the picture. Basically, I have to pry these two pieces apart. Be very careful not to scratch it or damage it. And these tiny little screws get my camera to focus come on there we go these screws along the side here come out that removes this front piece so you can get to these buttons and the screen cover like I was saying earlier so like I said they can be a little bit difficult to work on especially when trying to get those two pieces apart but once you've got it apart it's really simple on the inside so for those of you who maybe have an iPod that needs a little bit of work or for those of you who just like to see stuff taken apart, hope you enjoyed this vid. See you guys in the next video. Peace.